Jamie's a guy that his journey is one that resonates, especially at this current climate with a lot of what's going on today. And I think he's had it extremely hard and he came through it, you know, from the kid from South London, going, in, going into jail, coming out, making it right the way to the promised land, which is the Premier League. And, you know, going on and winning things. So, you know, that really fascinated me. And like I said, I've known Jay for a long, long time. <laughs> to go and um, meet Jamie Lawrence. We're shooting his documentary today. Um, we're shooting a documentary with Jamie about his life, his career, the ups, the downs. It's gonna be a raw, no holds barred type of documentary. Jamie's a guy that, his journey is one that resonates, especially at this current climate with a lot of what's going on today and I think he's had it extremely hard and he came through it, you know, from the kid from South London, going, in, going into jail, coming out, making it right the way to the promised land, which is the Premier League and, you know, going on and winning things. So, you know, that really fascinated me and like I said, I've known Jay for a long, long time. It's just been brilliant, you know, obviously, the response that we've had from Levels, um, just that little insight as to my day to day and what inspires me and what has inspired me um, to get to where I am and to achieve what I've achieved. I think Levels is, what I've learned from Levels is that my journey has resonated with other people. Um, not even just in football, just in your everyday life and you know, and, and that's been the biggest and the most humbling thing that has come out of level, just that people from all different walks of life has reached out and said, you know what, they can connect, they can feel, they understand, they've gone through that situation. Maybe not on the same levels I've gone through, but they've gone through that in their own way, at their own level. So it's that, on that, from that point of view, it's been, been amazing for me, just something to, for people to look at and go, you know what, I can achieve and I can be whoever I want to be if I apply myself and I stay focused and I believe in myself and I back myself and I trust myself and listen it's not going to be easy because I don't want to come across like oh yeah all you got to do is believe yourself and you know you're at the promise land no you're going to go through a lot more downs than you will ups but it's how you deal with the downs and and how you recover you know when you take a loss is it a loss or do you take it as a lesson learned and, and for me, you know, I used to take it as a loss, but as you grow up and as you mature and as you gain experience, you realise that them L's you've taken is not a loss, it's a lesson, you know, and, and you build from that and you get stronger from that. And what that does is it shows you how to navigate when you're in them situations or when them situations come around again. So, you know, Levels has been brilliant for me for that. You know what I mean, and, and I just and I'm just grateful, and I'm just proud that people can connect to it and and can understand it, and it, maybe if it helps someone get through what their situation, then great. We're here now to go and see Jay, Jay Lawrence, to shoot our documentary of him today. Something new. Um, just really interested and keen to hear his journey. So, yeah.
though because you've got this talent we just spoke about you know whether it would have been football whether it have been cricket whether it would have been anything you would have turned your hand yeah. to barring swimming yeah. right but what led you down the road you went down and I, and I want to talk about that Jay yeah. I want to talk about you know because you know me like I said for us to be able to sit down here with you yeah. I wanted to talk to you about you yeah. your career your story yeah. so now let's go down the road of where you went down as a kid with the with the life of crime up until like 17 where the perfect background was mom and dad in England right. supportive yeah. discipline you, as well yeah, yeah. You, you knew you were seen and not heard even when he was getting 16 17 correct you had manners and respect for your parents and that they give you you know they give you that look yeah. and you're fixed up yeah. quick right stability that's the word I'm looking for I had yeah. the stability then my mum and dad my mum had me when she was 40 so by the time 17 she, I was 17 she wanted to go back to Jamaica her and my dad so I'd worked a, a long time in this country and they wanted to go home and get some sun on their bones which I do not blame them for one little bit so me being me I always wanted to play football so I said no I'm gonna stay here um, and live with my sister right Now. He's <laughs> <laughs> working. Yeah. Best team in London. Oh, oh, oh. Nick, don't start all that. All those WhatsApps from earlier, they're coming back. All those WhatsApps from earlier. See a full set of that. Give a shout out to Liam. I've got to give a shout out to Lee. The best goalkeeper by far here. Mate, he's fired them, don't go there. He's fired. He's got twice and he got this alone. Oh, he's <laughs>
One more thing for the Orangers. You're not going to be coming back from this, mate. This, psychologically, you're not there. Oh, and you can't play with us. We're too quick for you. And we've got it up there. Hey. I'm fasting. I'm all. Yeah. <laughs>